okay welcome back to the tutorial so in this video I'm going to show you how to put the whole grid in the middle of the screen using cam trick so here close this window and go in game sheet before doing anything I just want to create two groups first one is start and the second one is creating uh, spots okay so hit B button hit F button for creating a new function let's call this create spots and I'm going to put these uh, events here and also this action and let's just put this event here and I want to call the function here so add action functions create spots and let's run the game and it works perfectly okay so now let's delete this blank event here and I want to do the camera stuff so for doing that I need a new function so let's create another group for the function at group let's call this setting camera and uh, hit B button hit F button and let's call this set cam okay put this blank event here and I want to call these uh, this function after creating a uh, whole grid so click on create a spot hit B and add action system and wait for zero seconds that means uh, after doing uh, the create stuff and so uh, here add action functions and set cam okay now let's run the game I want to uh, get the leftest rightest topest and bottomest spots position uh, and by having those values I uh, get that get the middle point of the grid get the middle position of the grid so I uh, for testing just for testing I want to uh, get the leftest spot in the grid so for doing that just go here double click spot and pick highest lowest and as you can see here we need a variable to get it uh, lowest and highest okay so for uh, now just go and click on a spot instant variables add new instant variable and let's call this my x for getting a spots x and another variable my y for getting uh, y of the spot okay I'm going to set these values here so add action a spot set value set my x to self dot x that means uh, the s spot itself position x of a spot itself okay so it's done copy and paste my y self dot y okay done and let's debug the layout and as you can see when I click on a random spot 500 900 is the X and Y position and 500 900 my X and my Y that's okay okay so now I want to get the left as a spot so double click here spot pick lowest my x that means left as a spot and for doing that and uh, for making that obvious set its opacity to 15 50 okay run and as you can see this is the left as a spot on the grid and of course uh, these column on the left side are the leftest spots and uh, these event just uh, pick the first one so we have the leftest one and I want to get the position at, uh, position X of this spot and uh, so for 
getting that I just want to create a local variable here so click on uh, this event this event and hit V for variable let's call the uh, variable left underscore and at action system set value of left to spot dot X I want to delete this set opacity okay and uh, I just want to do for uh, right top and bottom two okay so that's it and here we want to set the value of the local variable so copy paste right is highest my x change it to right copy and paste for top and bottom oh, uh, for top I just want to set lowest my y and set top spot dot y gets the y position of a spot and for bottom is a spot set it to highest my y and it's going to be bottom okay we have the values of left right top and bottom as a spot on the grid so for getting the middle point just click on set, set cam hit B at action system and here we want to put the uh, camera on that position on the middle position so uh, I scroll to position and here we set cameras position between parentheses left underscore plus right underscore divided by two copy and paste it and change it to top underscore and bottom underscore all right uh, so let's check it uh, okay we forgot to set we forgot, we forgot to tick that unbounded scrolling just tick this when you click on the layout name and run okay that works perfectly and we have the grid in the middle of the screen doesn't matter we uh, use different height and width just for testing 5 by 8 in the middle of the screen so now I just want to create a play area object uh, uh, so for uh, creating that object I need to use nine patch objects so double click here search for nine patch and if you are if you're not uh, familiar with uh, the nine patch object just uh, watch my first video so load the image from my assets folder play area.png I've got these values 60 60 60 and 60 okay and I just want to set the origin point to center and let's make it a little bit bigger and put it here I want to set the position and size of this uh, play area object change the name play area object in the code so go in game sheet here's at action play area and set position of uh, it to scroll X and the scroll Y gets the camera's position it's done run and as you can see we have it here we just need to change the size of the play area so go here add action play area set size uh, we have the uh, grid width and grid height so by having that xx grid width multiply by 100 and yy okay let's run 
and as you can see the play areas size is exactly uh, equal to grid size so I want to uh, make it a little bit bigger just 100 pixels uh, on width and on height so plus 100 and plus 100 okay run and as you can see it, it's very good uh, and perfect so in the next video I want to show you how to create and the snake so see you in the next video